Hello, everybody. Welcome to Crazy Breeze and Flowers. We're going to do a quick live tonight. I w I'm unprepared, but I'll wait to see if people pop on. Hello, Goose. How's it going? Hi, Melissa. How are you tonight? I am working off of Facebook without OBS tonight, so I only have one camera view. So I'm just waiting for a few people to pop on. Say hi if you come in. I know I haven't been on in a while. And so, hi, Ann. How are you this evening? Hi, Diane. How are you? Did you get trick-or-treaters on uh, Halloween night, Diane? I, I am a hot mess, Melissa. I'm a hot mess. Hi, Karen. Hi, Sandra. <coughs> Pardon me. I still have the upper respiratory, but my eyes are better. At least I can see. So now my comments aren't scrolling. Hi, Rosemary. How are you? So first I have to tell you guys a little, a little secret. I was not prepared for this live at all. As you know, yesterday I opened Al's Tech Talk. Al's Tech Talk is uh, for, it's a closed group, and it's $14.99 a month, and it's so that you can receive any kind of tech help you need for your business pages. And as you know, I work closely with my biz buddy partner, Laura Jean Three Rooms. And I've already got a couple of people in the group that needed some help. I was building training, and I was building training on mini chat. And I was building training on how to send out what I call a boost, they call a broadcast. And I hit a button after I had put in all that information that you saw, and it announced to everybody on my list that I was going live tonight. So lucky chance, here I am, because I told you guys I'd be here. So we're not going to do a lot tonight. Michael and I are cramming for a show in the morning. We're going to be over in Council Bluffs at the Heartland Christian School. And we have a show from 9 to 3 tomorrow. And we are working on finishing up some of our smaller items because I have the wreaths. So we're working on finishing candy canes. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to decorate one of Michael's wrapped candy canes tonight. Let me show you what we've done so far. This, this drives me nuts. And I, I was trying to get it. There's one on the door there, and I'll have him bring it over better. He's going to bring over the candy canes, that the few that we've done. He's the wrapping. He does all the wrapping. We wrap them in ribbon, and then I decorate them. So go ahead, Michael. Bring them on over. We have them from the simple to kind of the, the more. He, he wants to add more to this, but for right now, this is one of our candy canes. And I keep them simple because these are our lower lower priced items. People in my area are farmers and any kind of, pardon me, any kind of wreath is a luxury. So, but these will be listed on my Facebook site and well, especially after the sales, after tomorrow, because I'm trying to move everything from my Etsy over to Facebook shop and I'll explain that after a while. But this is one of them. It's a blue, wrapped with blue um, snowflakes. It has a silver poinsettia as a decoration. And the, these sell, I sell these for $20. Okay? All right. I, my, we're, we're not playing. Michael's playing grab decorations Here. to do things. This is one of my more, I've got to work on the bow a little bit, but this is one of my more elegant once I made a bow with this, I made the bow on the easy bow. I've used the, I can't think of what it's called, but whatever the black and the white check's called. Laura, what's it called? I can't remember. Anyway, this is one, another one of mine. He wraps them. I made the bow. I put the pick in the middle. This is also $20. And this is one we'll have on display tomorrow. This is a white one I did 
with a bow. This bow was made, how did I make this bow? This must have been a pro bow, a three ribbon pro bow. I'm not good at bows, that's why I stick to a lot of decorations. I, I am not, Laura is the designer. My goose is the designer. I see there are comments. I'm sorry, I thought nobody was commenting. Oh, wow, Melissa. I'm catching up right now. Hi, Pam. How are you? And Joanne? Yes, I have Mike here for a minute, then he'll probably slip away. Hi, Sue. Sorry, guys, I didn't realize the comments weren't scrolling. Forgive me. It's, it's been crazy here the last few days for me. Anyway, I'm kind of waiting till we get there, Laura, to fix the ribbons. But this is a white one we have. It's wrapped with silver, with white with silver trees, because that's one of my more favorite colors. Now, I will, I am going to admit before I start that Michael did most of this one himself, the wrapping and the decor. So, as you can see, it has, some of these decorations come from Dollar Tree. Some of them have come from end of season, out at Joanne's or Hobby Lobby. I think I picked up a few at one time at Old Time Pottery. But he decided to add the stars down the side because we got a little blue right here. And he decided we had to put a decoration. But all of these are also designed by Michael. He is, he is my candy cane and hat expert. So this is another one that we have. Okay. Is that all of them that we have? Oh, Those are the ones we have prepared. Order. Now we have two more. I believe we need to decorate. This is the one we're going to work on later tonight. You got three more. Oops. I got three more. Oh my God. So I've got this one. We have this one. Yeah, my window's coming up. And we have this one. And Michael has been out digging in our Christmas decorations. Hang the center here, honey. Finding things that he thinks would work well because I do these, like I said, with his permission because they're actually his babies. So he's brought me out. I mean, I don't have my OBS up tonight. I was going to, and I had to schedule the live, and that didn't happen, so. But he has brought me, as you can see, some decorations. And see our mess? Oh, my goodness. We just have things everywhere. And that is because I'm also hoping to get some more wreaths made. Because hopefully tomorrow we're going to sell wreaths, and I am going to have to go back and make more for the next show. We have a show this Saturday. As I said in Council Bluffs at Heartland Hill, no, Heartland Christian School. Then I have one in conjunction with the Veterans Day Parade in Bellevue at Mission Middle School for Bel Bertha Barber School that we will be at the following Saturday, um, which we're hoping that's a big draw because there will be tons of people at the Veterans Day Parade. The, both high school bands march in it, the Girl Scouts march in it, everybody marches in it and does stuff. So I'm hoping, I won't get to see the parade, but we're right, on, Mission is right on the parade route. So there will be a lot of people in downtown Bellevue. And I'll try to do some lives from down there to show you nice little Bellevue and, and what's going on. And once again, my, my things aren't scrolling. If you're asking me um, questions, Hopefully, thank you, Ann. Hopefully, thanks, Pam. Mike is very good. He, he, he is, yeah, I'm getting him into it as much as I can. Hi, Sherry, welcome. Well, you know, I have to get Mike on camera, Donna, to show you how they're wrapped, and he has not agreed yet to be on camera. That was as much on camera as you're going to see him. I have not got him convinced yet that he's going to be on my camera. I'm sorry. I'm trying hard. In fact, he yelled at me. I'm not going to be on camera. I said, you have to. You have to hand me these items. But to tell you how I feel right now, I feel like a small child in my bumpo sitting on a Roomba 
in a two by two box where I just hit a wall, bounce off, hit a wall, bounce off, hit a wall, bounce off, you know? Um, so, but before we glue the deck, I'm letting my glue gun warm up here because I'm like all kinds of not prepared. But I wanted to bring up the fact that I did open T Owl's Tech Talk. And it is a private group for $14.99 a month. And when you join that group, you will get help and information on your Facebook business pages, building your Facebook business pages, setting up your YouTube, and how to optimize that YouTube video for your best finds on it. I also do Filmora. I use Filmora and I do film editing. Um, uh, there's a possibility down the road right now, not until the season's over with my shows, like I said, because I have this show, I have the veterans show, and then I have a show in Papillion, Nebraska the next weekend at one of, I think, Bell Elementary. Then we take a couple weeks off, and then I'm up in North Omaha. I cannot remember the name of the school, but we have a show there at one of the schools in North Omaha on the 13th of December. That is the last show I scheduled. This, I scheduled all this thinking that I was not going to open the group until the 1st of January. And I decided to open my group in conjunction with LJ's Designers Loft. That's my partner, Laura Jean. And she is one of the most, I don't want to say this so I sound like a total hick. And that's why I was kind of, to me, she's an ultimate designer. If you want to learn how to make a big, beautiful wreath or even use the technique to make a smaller wreath, there's where you go. And you can trust me on that and believe me on that because as my biz partner, she's helped me quite a bit. She's the designer. I'm the technical. Also down the road, we are partners in crime. Hi, Marla and Dana or Marla. <laughs> I'm glad to see you. Hi, Judy. Patricia, are you home? Great to see you. Hope you're feeling much, much better. I have missed you, girl. I have missed you. Hi, Krista. Hi, Ann. Sorry, guys, my comments aren't scrolling. And if Laura doesn't catch your questions, if you have any, I will go back after this quick live. I see, keep saying quick because I'm hoping it's quick because I have lots to do. We haven't even loaded up the truck yet. And we have to be out of here at 7 in the morning to get there. It's about a half hour drive. You're not home. You're still in the hospital, sweetie. Well, best to you. Are you taking messages yet, Patricia? Because I'd love to talk to you and see how you're doing. Because I miss that. I miss our daily talks. My prayers go out for you for a quick recovery, honey. I'm missing you. Hi, Jan Janelda. I'm so sorry. I, I'm having a hard time concentrating. My brain is going in 25 directions. I just hit a wall, poof, on my Boomba or Roomba or whatever, and I'm gone. Anyway, so I keep trying to scroll, scroll the comments. I'm working on, only on my desktop. But back to Al's Tech Talk, like I said, $14.99 a month. That comes with your training. I will offer outside services for everyone, but if you're in my group, those outside services, you will get a discount on. I will build Facebook pages. Um, I will build YouTube pages, get them set up for you. And um, I, I can edit film. I can edit uh, videos for you if you'd like. <coughs> Pardon me. Probably after the 13th of December, maybe by the 1st of January, I might be out, um, offering some moderation services if you want your live moderated. And all of that will be on that page, and I will also advertise it on my, uh, or put up posts on my Creative Reason Flowers. As I said, Laura has a design group. It's $15 a month. It's LJ's Designer's Loft where she's going to show you techniques and different ways to do things and designs. 
like I said, I think she's the ultimate designer. I love it. She makes the most beautiful reads I've ever seen. And um, I'm in there with you, the rest of you. And I learn as I get, I learn as I see her because she, she has a whole different style. I'm going to, on my, I will still have public lives. I'm planning on still going live once a week. I'm thinking we're going to keep our Monday night slot at 6.30. All the, all of the lives I do will be transferred over to YouTube. So you could, if you join the YouTube and then hit the bell when you're in there. Hi, MJ. She is awesome, Gail. Um, it should notify you if you up or when we upload new videos. Now, it'd be great if you could join both my YouTube and Laura's. And Laura, if you're capable, can you put those links up for me? My foot is much better. It still hurts. I have an appointment again with the orthopedic uh, doctor who is actually a foot doctor also, so that's fantastic, to see when I can get rid of my beautiful orthotic shoe. I don't know when it is, so I'm hoping they give me a reminder because I don't think it made it to my calendar. But I bet you they'll tell me if I miss it. But I know it's at like 3, 30, 4 o'clock or 2, 30 or something one day, and it's just five minutes from me, so that's great. Um, yes, yes. By the way, my I earned the name very long ago. I was given the name by Maury, uh, Maury's moderator of OWL, because I'm up very late at night. And most of you know me. When they talk about OWL, you know it's me. And that's why we came up with OWL's Tech Talk. So if you guys want to call me OWL now, that's fine. There, when I'm with Lori and in the group, in our business group, um, there is another Cheryl. It's kind of weird to me because usually there's not a lot of them. But when somebody says Cheryl, we both go, huh? So I'm just going to have everybody call me Owl because it just, it's easier. You can call me Cheryl. You can call me Owl. So hang in there. We'll get to it. Anyway, I wanted to explain also when you try to join our, if you would like to join our groups, when you go in, we do have them set up for recurring payments through PayPal. So when you go in, it will give you, when you click on our links, it does give you an option to use a credit card, debit card, or your PayPal account. Now, if you want to use a card, when you click on that, it's going to ask for some information. And then it's going to ask you to set up a PayPal account. PayPal accounts are free. What you can do is you can set up a PayPal account. Then when you move on to the next step, you will put the card you wish to use on the PayPal account. And then it will bill you through that. But you do need a PayPal account the way this is set up. A lot of people don't understand that. I didn't understand that. We're finding this out now. Hey, Pam. <laughs> so anyway, I, I did want to get that. If you have any other questions, you can um, message me directly at Creative Reason Flowers, and I will help you. I can help walk you through it. I was thinking right before I went live because that's where the brain went, that I might be able to make some kind of a, a video to show you how to do that. But when you join Al's Tech Talk also, once a week, you're going to get a training or Q&A uh, call. I, call. I use Zoom where you can ask me questions. <coughs> I might find a tip or a trick or there might be some new algorithm out there that you need to know about. Also, I create a training video that's very simple, and I do make PDF training guides, which you can download and print, that go along with each video. So you can print it out, watch the video, write your notes on it, and then you're allowed to ask me questions on it so that we can get you set up so you can have the best Facebook and YouTube at this point that you need. I'm still working on Instagram and Pinterest. 
And right now, I'm really busy. But that's okay. I like busy. I When I worked corporate, I did um, computer setup for a medical billing system. And I was basically, I worked 24-7. I worked 10, hour, 10 to 12 hours at the office. And people contacted me all night long at home. And I worked by VPN. So if they had a problem, they contacted me. And I did it. I will be setting up a calendar, though. If you want one-on-one -on -one time, I have a charge for that. Of course, if you're in the group, you do get the, a discount. I haven't got it all figured out yet. We'll do it as we go. It's always a learning process in technology. No matter what you know, it will change tomorrow. I do have a degree in systems information management. And what that means is, I'm a project manager. People would contact me. I go in. I see what they have. I tell them what they need, what programs they need. I get it all set up, get them going, and then go, see you later. However, if and I will do that for you. I will build a page for you. If you're in the group, I will help you maintain it. If you're not in the group, my job's done. So... If you'd like to join either Laura or my group, I would appreciate it. You can find that information either on Creative Reason Flowers or Laura's Reef Room. Did I say that right? Laura, Laura Jean's Reef Room. Sorry. I call her Goose. She calls me Al. So anyway, I'm going to get started on these candy canes, or this can, one candy cane. Show you what Michael was helping me or wanting me to do. And because I still have the two others, and if he wraps any more tonight, I may be taking my glue gun and doing them at the show. You never know. That does bring people in. At our last show, Michael actually sat in the booth and put the, the rolls, we did curls, rolls, on the bottom of the hats, and they would sell five minutes after he hung them up. He was very proud of himself. I'm going to change the camera angle. Remember, I don't have Amiibo, so I'll probably make you ill. I am sorry. I want to get you pointed down here. I just have the one camera. No OBS tonight. We'll be working on that. But these are the, this is one of the decorations that he picked out because he thinks this bird goes with this particular candy cane wrap. And, oh, MJ, we're, Never stop. I never turn this on. Thank you, Helen. Thank you. Hi, Aunt Mary. How are you tonight? Yeah, you can turn that on. Maybe. Oh, look, he gave me a light. I'm only using one of my lights on the light kit today. No chance for two lights to fall on my head. Oh, Michael, what did you do? Oh, sorry. A little unprepared. But anyway. See if I can hold this up. On this one, I'm just going to do simple decorations. He seems to have picked out a lot of stuff. I don't know if you can see all the stuff he picked out. I hate talking when I upend my voice, but that's what happens when you used to be a telemarketer. You always upend your voice because that gets your sale. A lot of these decorations did come from Joanne's a lot from last the end of last season. There, I, I have, they've been having some beautiful, uh, beautiful, some sales today or this week. They, they weren't as good as I thought. It said 70% off of all Christmas. No, it was 70% off of Halloween, which I went the week before and you got, bought one, got three free. So that was a better sell because that was 75%. Hi, Santa. How are you tonight? I loved your video the other day. I was so excited. I watched Diane, Mrs. Santa Claus, and Miss, I watched Santa Claus on live the other night, the night before uh, Halloween, and I had so much fun. If you all ever get a chance, you should check them out. They are great. They are great. I, you know, he just wants so much on one thing, and it just drives me insane. To me... 
I don't know. What do you guys think? Let's see. To me, you know, this would be enough. People are simple here. And I'm keeping it for the people here. And I know Laura always tells me it doesn't matter. But these are cornfields. We do have lots of farmers. Not so many executives where I live out here south of, El of Omaha. And having any, even a wrapped candy cane is a luxury. If you put a little bling on it, you're in heaven. So they don't like to pay a lot because they can't afford it. And they don't want it. I've had people tell me my wreaths, like the dog wreath I have that I made, has too many ribbons. And they wonder why I don't like ribbons and don't use them. But to me, I think this makes a beautiful statement on this candy cane. So this is what I'm going to go for. Hi, Mildred. How are you this evening? I can't help it. I like my cornfield story. Marla and Jana understand. They were excited that I knew what the tasseling was. So there you go. I'm like, isn't that the first job you get when you're 14? You go to tassel the corn. Uh, thanks, Sue. I wish other people liked it. Anyway, so the first thing I'm going to do is probably yell for Michael. Michael, he has a lot more strength in his hand. Does anybody have any questions concerning either of the groups that Laura and I have? Because we would be more than happy to answer. No, no what? I, can you put that right there for me? I'm going to put Michael to use here. He has, I got to get some bigger wire clippers. I'm so worried that he's going to break those. And those are my favorites. Oh, no. I must have went up too oh, no. Look what he did. He cut it off. What am I going to do now? Use more glue. Okay. Usually, I don't like to use hot glue. One, I don't want things to fall off, but two, I burn myself. So, it makes life crazy. And guess what? This part fell off too. Well, he wasn't very good at that, was he? Hmm. That's okay. I'm just going to do this. Usually I put down parchment paper too, but you can tell because I just don't like picking off um, I do not like picking off glue off of my board. But maybe that just means I get a new board for Christmas, right? Ah. Uh, well, we never did had fields with uh, wheat or with the hay in them, so we we just bought hay, so people delivered it to us. So yes. I can see you, Aunt Mary. Ugh, that's terrible, Marla. I'm gonna assume you're Marla. <laughs> Laura and I, Diane. Well, you know, Charlene, that's Michael's that's Michael's job is putting the hangers on the back. These you wouldn't necessarily have to <coughs> because you could just use the bottom of the cane. Like on the door over here, the command hook I have has a little hook on it. Not the big hook, just a little silver hook. Or um, you can, you know, so you can just set the cane down here. Now, when you do that, your cane will tend to, to go this way. We'll, we'll hang it up when we're done. I'll show you. But I let Michael figure out if there's a cane he wants to, or a If 
if there's a, I have to kind of concentrate because I know I'm getting ready to use food. If there's a, uh, Watchy Jigger. <sighs> I have lots of Watchy Jiggers. A, um, hanger he wants to put on it. On the hats, we did put hangers. But mostly those were either, uh, we either used, um, Pipe cleaners, sometimes we use glue, sometimes we use ribbon. It just is kind of what we had right handy to us. And this is all going on my table. I should get out my glass thing. I tell you, I'm really excited. I'm hoping maybe Monday night. I do a lot of unique in the creek crease, and that's what I wanted to do, except for the fact that I picked up the coolest sled and a couple of cups and saucers the other day and I want to make an arrangement in the sled for Christmas and I want to do a floating teacups for the cup and saucers and I actually picked those items up at Habitat for Humanity Restore and I was so excited so I may do that that and we also have about a six but garland we got that's lit and we are going to work on that to hang up our shows I don't know if we'll get it done for tomorrow but we want to work on that for one of the shows coming up I am wearing shorts Diane <laughs> yes I am I actually had Mickey Mouse uh, pants on uh, the fuzzy pajama pants but it was too warm and when I get warm, yeah, it's not pretty. So it's kind of warm down in here. I don't have control. My daughter has control of the of the heat. So I don't have control of the heat. So unfortunately, we get warm. And there's not a lot of circulation. I have two windows behind me. But that is basically all the circulation that I have down here unless I run fans. And I can't run fans when I'm online because then that's all you guys hear or are the fans. So um, I try to turn them off. I don't know how much this picks up in the background. I can tell on OBS because it will show me. But... This I know came from Joanne's because it says Blooming Holidays. You missed it. About five minutes before I got online, I had the whole entire troops down here. Ryder was down here looking for Elmo because Nemo's phones and iPads have Elmo. To which he can get on by himself. And then... Melinda came in, so she was down here, and with her came Finn, so then I had Finn and Lamba down here, and then Michael down here running around, and he was sawing like two seconds before I went online. I'm like, oh no, dear, you can't do that in our garage because I can hear you. So this one is very thin. Yay. And I'll tell you, some people, and this is a good idea, I just haven't done this yet, but when you... When you snip off these parts, if you have a container, you can to save them because these can come in handy when you're working on things later down the road. You might need that to put on. Luckily, these are all bendable for me. And I know a lot of people do put... Um, they do make the bows. My bows are kind of different. And I actually saw, and I want to try it. I didn't want to do it for the first time tonight. Saw a lady make a hand bow today. A lady on YouTube. And I really like the way it turned out. And it looked very simple. So I want to try that. And if I can get that to work then I have no problem, if she has no problems, 
showing you guys how it's done because it looks really simple. And you don't need a Bodabra, you don't need an Easy Bow, and you don't need a Pro Bow. And I want to say it was a six or seven loot bow. Not seven, six or eight loot bow. But it turned out really cute. And she made it with Dollar Tree ribbon. So I can use it. She used the whole roll. But I could use a whole roll of Dollar Tree ribbon to try a bow. You know? Because once you get it down, then you can use any. This is the one thing that I have problems with. I want to make sure this stays on. And I may go back and, and put some floral wire in it. But I'm going to just kind of load her up with glue right now. Because of the season, we shouldn't have a problem with it getting too warm. Oh, no. And sometimes when you do that, it all melts. So you have to be careful. And then you have to hold it and hope you don't burn yourself like that. Ow. That's okay. I'm going to make it work no matter what. You ever lose all your... There we go. I am just going to make this do exactly what I want it to do. Because that's how I roll. So is everybody already preparing for the Christmas and Thanksgiving season? Yeah, I know. Yes, I know you don't want to use it on foam, but you know what? This is plastic and you don't want to do that either. Hi, Carol. How are you? And Barbara. Spell check gets me every time. Usually I do kind of take these apart because I don't really want them to, to stick out. But I will fiddle and fuss with this until I get it exactly what I want. And I'm going to have to blow my nose and then I sound like an elephant. to get some more fall ones made. I don't have a lot of fall either. And I sold Ina Fields at the last show I did. So I need to make some more. Yeah, candy canes are a good draw because you can sell them for a little less and you can pull these people into your booth. I'm not sure. We bought it. I couldn't find them. So as soon as they went on sale online through Dollar Tree, I bought a case. So I may have Michael wrap a couple while we're there. We may throw some decorations or ribbon in there and I may make, make some bows. And that way during some downtime when I'm not up talking with our with our customers. Then I can uh, trying to decide if I should put the reindeer on or just leave the reindeer off. Okay, there it is. Do you see him? Ouch. Sorry. hope that didn't do anything. I, I hit my... Yeah, I know it's out of balance. So. I like glitter too in case nobody's ever noticed. I'm a real glitter kiddo. 
And I do believe that the, uh, I know you can't, can't see what I'm doing, I'm sorry. I like that the uh, craft gods gave me glitter stuff and let me cut it all apart. I think that needs to go there. So it's balanced. The test is, is when Mike comes in because he hasn't been watching me. And he goes, oh yeah, that looks okay. Otherwise, I'll be in trouble. And he balls it fell off. Look what he brought me though. We have some really cool pets. Whoops. It's kind of, there we go. These are all I think last season. This one isn't. This is brand new. I got this uh, on sale earlier this week. I know all of this from Dollar Tree. I haven't bought, I bought a few decorate, uh, a few ball uh, ornaments. But I just don't think that will work on it. It's just going to be overkill. Can't wait to get out. Buffalo plaid, that's what it's called. Buffalo plaid. I actually bought some really cool ribbon on sale at, at Joann's to make Thank you. Thank you. So, yeah, if everybody could uh, share and, and love my page or like it, I, I would be, like, so excited. You know, I don't think I'm going to use this poor little reindeer. I think I'm going to save him for the other pet. Because, you know, if this is a bird, the reindeer just doesn't really, like, hang in my mind right. I don't know, Michael. I'm not gonna, the reindeer fell off. I don't think I'm going to use him. What do you think? Yeah, it doesn't need a reindeer. Uh-oh, the bird's pooping blue. Yeah, some of those will look good. I don't know. I don't want to put too much. No, I don't like that. Something else gold. Well, I was just thinking about adding a little gold right here by the bird. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you like do you like this little gold uh, whatever this star, or do you think I should leave it off? What what's? Oh, I don't want to pin a comment. A gold French horn. No, this is not a French horn. I like French horns by themselves. Thank you, Marla. I need to get Swiffer cloths. Maybe that would work. I don't know. I just wear the glitter. I just wear the glitter, and I wear it with pride. No, that's too big. Yep. Now he wants me to put this big old package on. Sometimes he goes a little overboard. Although I will say that he has made several wreaths. I'm not going to tell you which ones because then he'll like go, Oh, look, my wreath sold and yours didn't. Because he did that with the hats. So I won't do that. I'm almost done. I don't know. Should I be done or should I keep adding? I may try to reposition this bird just a little bit more up. I, I don't know. Maybe it looks fine the way it is. <coughs> it's hard for you to tell. I don't like it when it bends down. It needs to go up. Oh. I don't know. Do you think it needs the gold star? I do, Sue. I wear my glitter with pride. But, as you saw I posted the other day, I can rip that baby off in a second and become the Wicked Witch of the West when I need to. Keep at I know you'd say keep adding. But good Lord, Laura, I'd have every decoration I own on here if it was up to you. Another one of these. No, I don't want that. Oh, you got plenty of those. I got enough. Okay. You have to remember, guys, here, less is more. Remember, less is more. It's a blessing just to have the candy cane on the door. If it has pretties on it, that's just like excitement. But not too many pretties. I have to keep holding this. 
I used to use, I was using DAP glue, but I quit doing that. Yeah, or I could put some little tails on it. I'm just, my problem, Mildred, is that I am not confident with my bows yet. Now, if Laura can make me a bow, I can oh, it. Well, I bet you if he was there, he would love to go shopping with you, Diane. He is the best guy to take shopping. He'll fill your cart. Do you have a lot of money? Look what he's bringing me. He's bringing me all kinds of garbage. It's not garbage. It's really good oh, stuff. Different, different. I'm not using he is just taking it out and putting it on the table, but not to use for this one. He does not get. We are only working on this candy cane. You know, Mike is a great shopper. I love him. I love him. I love to take him shopping with me because... I will pick stuff up and I'll be trying to be very, very conservative. And he's just throwing things in there left and right. Ooh, I like that. Look, dudes. I call everybody dudes, sorry. If I'd have known that when I was using that other stuff. We have so much stuff we have to keep going through it. We're just kind of starting to get the Christmas out. I like that. I don't think these mini bows would look right though. Laura, you need to come over and dig through all my decorations and tell me what I should be using. So I got all the pretties. And I keep buying more pretty. I'm going to have Michael bring over my sled in a minute so I can show you guys what I think I'm going to be working on Monday night. These are cheater bows because they're already made. In a second, what I want is to get the tape off of this so I can get off one of these little bows. I do believe this came from the Dollar Tree, too. When I first started buying all my items I bought from the Dollar Tree, that's all I could afford. And then I learned other places had better stuff and cooler stuff. You guys said a little bow, right? Oh, no, Diane. You know, I, told, I, I think I told you guys. Um, maybe on my last slide. Yeah, I burned mine up because I put a metal coffee cup in there. I think you guys are right, but I'm trying to figure out how to put this little cheaty bow that's already made on. This is the kind of stuff they dig here, guys. And remember, this is for basically um, local, my local sale. Hang on a minute, baby. This is pretty. We didn't want over. Yeah, I was mad at him yesterday. We went over to Council Bluffs to look for that school, and he decided he wanted to go to the rehab there, or restore. And I didn't want to go, and then I ended up, I was the one that purchased more stuff. But when I saw the sled and the teacups, because teacups with saucers are hard to find unless you buy it like a really expensive set. And, uh, ouch. You know? So, Miss Senna down over here by me. Thank you, darling. But I can't wait to work with this sled. I think it's going to be fantastic. I need to go through my flowers to see if I have poinsettias. I might have to make a trip to the Dollar Tree. Thank you, Laura. Oh, I don't know who's ringing the phone. I wasn't even paying attention. Is it going off? Okay, guys, hang on. I got glue on my palm. I got to get it off. Actually, Laura, they're stalking you. 
Okay, guys. I don't know if you can see it. I think I'm done because I think if I do any more to it, it's going to be too much. But this basically, this is my $20 candy cane. And if it does not sell at the shows, guys, it will be on my Facebook page. I've never had a sale off the Facebook page yet because I started it not long ago. There is a $10 shipping charge added to each item. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to include that in the price. So the price you see is without the shipping charge, and I believe they will add $10 for the shipping charge onto that. But Diane will help me because she knows that thing. So, but here it is. And I'm going to have Michael walk it over to the door and hang it there so you can see it all full. And I'm going to, I leave it there to let it dry good. The bird looks a lot prettier than in the picture the camera. Yeah, the yeah. bird is a lot prettier than it is in the camera. Oh, I know you see. There, you don't have to look at it. <laughs> I'm, out of, I'm out of the way now. There it is, and I can't get you over there, and being that I am on the computer, I can't make it oops, any larger. That's what it would look like from farther away. Have, when, have you sold any, Diane? Do they add on that shipping charge that you tell them to in Facebook? Do you know? Thank you, Sue. I do have the husband, the best husband ever. I I always tease him. I always say, you know, Mike, I have to tell you, marriage is worse than a prison term. You're in it for life, and there's no chance for parole. So, at least in prison, sometimes you get parole, but not in the marriage. We've been married on um, 35 and a half years now. And, believe it or not, guys, I got tickets to Meat Makers Live. I'm so excited. So whoever's going, I'll see you there. Please look me up. I won't remember who you are. I might not even recognize you if I watch you on live. That's what happened to me with Lori uh, Goldfinch McNeil from Unique in the Creek. And we talk all the time. I didn't recognize her. She was all dolled up. I said, wow, you clean up good. I just did not recognize her. And, uh, but I am going to wreath, Mike, Michael and I are going to wreath makers live. I'm doing the three day because I do the business part. He's doing the two day because he wanted to, because he enjoyed Scott's convention so much because he went with me, but only as a visitor. Although Lori had an extra frame for Mr. Sippy. So he did get to make one of those. And I was very proud of him. And then we were real upset because we couldn't find his bow when we got home and then decided we only had one pro bow and he really didn't make one. He just helped me. Sorry, I was pulling the glue off my table there. Wow. Now, nope, I've had him since 1983 and after a few years, it's just not worth training another one. So we've, we've been through a lot. We've lived in a lot of places. I know you and Santa are going, and I can't wait to meet you in person, Diane, and hang out with you and Laura. I can't wait to see Laura again. You guys are too far from me. I'm just, I'm going to make Laura it. i just sat here in my little cornfield. Go by my thing. But that's okay. Actually, there are a lot of wreath makers in Omaha that I did not realize. And there were wreath makers at Scott's convention. I'm going to put this up a little bit wreath makers at Scott's convention that were from Omaha, which really freaked me out because I kind of just thought nobody did that here and I was by myself, but not really. And Affordable Reese is only two and a half hours north of me in Sioux City. So I'm going to show you, I got this great wicker sleigh. With, it's got cranberries around the top and it's big. I loved it. Loved it. Had to have it.
and it it's a good size it's uh with the it's probably 11 11 long from this tip to this tip and she's about six six and a half wide she's in great shape you gotta get some foam down in there and she is going to make a beautiful centerpiece for someone Hi, Melody. How are you tonight? I love this slide. Yes, yes. And I don't know. Oh, I guess you just laid them over on the table. I was going to say, I don't know where you put my uh, teacups and saucers. But, yeah, I'm going to make, um, I've, I've got, I use the soft foam or wet foam. It's just easier for my hands and me um, as opposed to the dry, crunchy foam. I also have a quick fill. I'm just afraid with the wicker. If I do quick fill, it'll fill out. I'd have to put parchment paper in there, I think, for it to work. But this is going to be, I, I'm thinking this may be, I got it at a, re, a Habitat for Humanity Restore. They have two different kinds here in um, Omaha and Council Bluffs. They have ones that are corporate and ones that are franchises. This one and the one in Bellevue where I shop are franchises. So people donate all kinds of decorative stuff and other things, desks, chairs. It's not necessarily a donation from a company. A lot of the, the franchises get, get donations from companies when they make their habitat houses, and if they have leftover, they sell that. These people take, um, like I, like I, when I got rid of my dining room table and, and eight chairs, which broke my heart, but I did, I gave it to them and needed a little work on the chairs needed to be stabilized. And they fixed it up and then they resold it to someone. You know, and it was it was one of the big ones with two leaves in it. It was a huge one. It went with my mother. It was my mother's and it went with her uh, china hutch. I kept the hutch. Nobody was getting that. Anyway, I think this is what we will work with on Monday night, and I will do a floral in it. Because I always say I'm creating wreaths and flowers, and I do florals, and then I end up just doing wreaths. But I've got lots of nice picks for Christmas. And um, so that's, yeah, I, I shop at, uh, I shop at Restores, the Habitat Restores. In fact, I will tell you this, one of my displays I use when I go to shows is that they had gotten in some of the Rubbermaid uh, closet shelving and they had three the same size. We bought them and made a triangle to hang on displays, our displays on our wreaths or I think the last time we put the hats on it. So yeah, I was like, how can I fix this item? That's where we got, he went back out in the garage, he drives me nuts. And I say that all the time, but I really do love him. Um, that's where I got, like I said, I can, sometimes they want you to, like if they get in Noritake or some kind of fancy china, they want to sell it in a group. I just happened to find some that there were just bits and pieces. So I got two saucers and two cups and I paid a dollar fifty. And that's the cheapest I found them. I found some Nakasa at the officer's thrift store on the base. And they were more than that. But I was going to show you, I also got a, you know, those big plastic wreath holders that you can put your wreaths in after season. He had one of those and I couldn't tell what was inside it because it looked like it could be parts of a tree, but it was that six foot, because um, we didn't take it out. It was a six foot garland when we got it home or five foot. I think it's six foot. And we're going to work on that and decorate it. It probably won't go to this show, but it will go to the next show. And if it's not sold, I may put it up on my mantle upstairs for Melinda and them, as long as their cats don't tear it up. That's my only, my only thing that I worry about are their cats. But we have lots and lots of little picks and decorations. Like Laura says, people should come and shop at my house. And uh, But I'm not, even though I'm starting Al's Tech Talk, I am not giving up my wreath making. I will go on one time, once a week right now. It looks like I will be on at 6.30 on Mondays. 
on Facebook, and all my videos will be seen over on my YouTube channel. And I have been putting, uh, today I put up a, a thing for my YouTube channel and a thing for my Etsy store. But you're not going to be seeing a lot of those because here's a trick outside of groups. Facebook doesn't like it when you send people away from Facebook. So I've had to cut back because I was doing, like, putting wreaths up once a day and asking you to go look at them. And that one reason I'm going to um, Facebook shop is for that reason because no social media wants to play nice together. And the other reason is because I can't afford the fees on Etsy anymore. So that's our plan. We're moving our Etsy shop over to Facebook. And until at least December 13th, they will still be in the Etsy store. But nothing new will be in the Etsy store. The new items will be going into our Facebook shop. You just go to the left menu. You'll see a shop button there on Creative Reads and Flowers. And that's where you'll see what inventory we have available and what inventory you can buy. All the, like I said, all our replays, I, I don't have any uh, plans to go live on YouTube at this time. That will become after season. If I have a chance, I may go twice. But all the replays I do upload to YouTube so that you can watch them whenever you want. Sometimes it's hard to find the videos on Facebook. So you can go and subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is, you know what I can do now? I'm so excited. Well, kind of. I'm so silly. I can't, I, I, when I do my thing, I put rocks in here, but I've lost my rocks. Eh, I've lost my marbles. I lost those a long time ago. Anyway, I have to say, no. So, I have not done anything with Shopify. I haven't seen the training on Shopify. Um, Facebook shop is just in Facebook. I believe it does go through PayPal or you can go through Stripe. Um, that's another one that they change every other day, but I believe mine's going through PayPal now. But I have to look into that more. I'm going to put my YouTube link up here. Give me if I can type. That should be my YouTube link. And if you could go and subscribe to that channel, I would love it. I'm trying to get up to a thousand viewers. Once I get to a thousand viewers, I believe I can monetize my YouTube channel and that will help me out immensely. Um, I, we also have this one. This is Laura's uh, YouTube, and if you could go and subscribe to that YouTube also, that would be fantastic. We're trying to get her up to earn a community. You get There's little goals you try to get for. I'm right now just trying to, to go for what I believe is monetization. I don't even know if it's monetization, but at 1,000, I get some little bonus. And I'm sitting about 583. So if I could find 417 best friends, I would love it. And Laura is pushing up to 10,000. Very proud of her. So we're trying to get her up to the 10,000 point so she can get more bells and whistles and earn her community. So if you guys could subscribe to those two channels, ask your friends to subscribe to those two channels. Jump on strangers out in the on the street to, to subscribe to those two channels. We would love that. But like I said, that's that. And then if I'm, I think I can do this and not mess up. I'm gonna have to get a square jar if I'm not careful. I wish I was on a Zoom, and then I could. People go away. <laughs> Sorry, my when I brought that up. 
I do have members in my group. And because I'm not watching the screen, guys, sorry. Oh, stop. Does it ever irritate you when people just like, when people just like totally keep sending you items and they keep sending you notices, I get kind of agitated, especially if I'm working on something. That's okay. I'm used to it. Oh, Lord, are you blowing my phone up? Okay. Go out of the way so I can get to my... Uh, <clears throat> this is the link to Al's Tech Talk. Like I said, when you punch on that link, you it's going to take you over. It'll give you a, an option. If you have a PayPal account, you just push PayPal, use your PayPal account. It is a recurring $14.99 a month fee. If you push on your credit card, it's going to bring a screen up. You fill out the information. You do need to, to make a um, PayPal account for that card and that there is no charge for you to make that PayPal account. And now people save my pen. That's very nice. Thank you. Later. Oh, tech does not. I'm, I'm telling you guys, it took me 30 years to get my degree, so I have tech knowledge all the way back to before Windows. Okay, I, I'm a DOS programmer. I did assembler, which is not anything like assembly is in the real age today. I did it back in the old days. Pascal, Fortran. I worked on an IBM 5154 mainframe. Uh, you sent your program off. You hope nobody ate the queue, which means they would take your program as their data. And we had a 14 to 18 hour turnaround time to get our programs back to learn they didn't work. We did a lot with flowcharts. Then I took time off. I raised my family. And when my son started college, uh, after he graduated high school, I went back to school with him. He helped get me through calculus, too, because it had been about ooh, 22 years since I'd had calculus one. And so he got me through calculus, too. And other than that, that's the only thing we had together. I believe that's our own, pardon me, our only class. And I graduated in 2008 from the University of Nebraska, Omaha. So I have well-rounded knowledge. I have a lot of mathematics. I'm nine hours from a business administration degree, which I never finished because now it would take me a lot more because the hours are from sold. I started in 78, graduated in 2008. Just glad I finally got the paper because that's something my dad always wanted. I graduated 10 years after he passed away, but I know that he loved it and he was in heaven celebrating with my mother at that point because my mother passed away in 2001. So, yes, Laura does want me to do all the tech work, so I'm learning lots of things by Laura asking me to do tech work. And that's okay because I need that. I like, I, I thrive on that. Um, like I said, she's the better designer. So together we make one whole team. And we like that. Anyway, I know this has been a quick live. Like I said, happy mistake. I was making Marla some training for mini chat. Or not Marla, Jana. Hi, Ellen. How are you tonight? I was making Ellen and, or not Ellen, uh, Jana some training on mini chat. And I was making it for the group, but. If I know you have a specific question or specific problem, I, I would like to um, focus that for your training. And for those in my group, you will find that soon. And it's on how to put out a boost in the chat. And I just I still have to film the, the training version. I do have I like to make the PDF first so I can follow along with it other than the other way around. Um, but like I said, we will be having at least one call a week with questions and answers and 
it's kind of hard to, to know if you need to do training because I'm going to give it to you in the PDF and videos, but I can share my screen when we're on that call and or if you have problems, if you're in the group, if you message me, we can talk about it. I can try to get you through whatever. I'm usually here, eh, I used to say 24-7, but I'm out and about more. But I carry a smartphone and Laura's helping me with that because she is the bomb at smartphone usage. So I'm learning how to use my smartphone. I also carry an iPad Pro. I, I usually don't take it with me, but I will take it to the shows because um, sometimes the shows get boring. I know da I watched a, a thing Damon did, and he said, don't sit you know, at the show and ignore your customers. And that's fine, except when you have a show from 8 to 3, during a Husker ball game and you have 40 customers between eight and three, it tends to get boring. We actually turned on a hockey game and I let Mike sit and watch the hockey game while I jumped up and helped any customer that came by, like all two of them the whole time the hockey game was on. I did get two sales from that though, so I am blessed. There were people that got nothing, but I did, I did make two sales and I'm not, I thought the lady was here that was communicating with me, but maybe not, but I did sell one of my UTI, UITC trees and I do need to make another one. So if you need help with your, with your computer stuff, Al's Tech Talk, it's $14.99 a month. Not fourteen, fourteen ninety nine, almost fifteen dollars, just a penny less. I I'd be more than happy to help you. I'd be more than happy to help you. And Al's Tech Talk, right now, like I said, I'm, I'm concentrating on helping those that need help getting their Facebook business pages going or getting their Facebook business pages set up, getting a YouTube channel set up for your business so you can put your um, videos over there and when I learn new tricks or I learn new algorithms that come up I will pass that on to you I can set you up and do things outside the group otherwise but if you're not in the group once that it's set up you're on your own there'll be no helping you maintain it without more fee. And if what you want costs a, a bigger fee than what I'm allowing in the group, you will get a discount. Don't have that all quite set up yet to be able to print it out and put it out there. But, you know, or if you have any questions about it, message me at Creative Reason Flowers. And I'll be happy to answer your questions about the group and talk to you about it so that you understand totally what it is that you will need and if there will be any extras or anything. I have no problem with that. Oh, does he do tech talk? I don't know. This is Owl's tech talk. This is this is me, Ellen. I'm going to do that. I'm Owl's tech talk. I didn't know if Parker does one or not. Um, but I set up Owl's tech talk. It got, it's under creative reason flowers and I'm Owl. Mari made me owl when I first started. It's stuck, and I'm going with it. As you can see, I have my owls. I have more shelves put up, but it may be after Christmas before, or at least after the 13th of December before we get that accomplished. I also have to start doing some shopping. I've got three grandkids. i got to buy stuff for. Whew. But I want to show you today, too, that my daughter does love me, the one that lives with me, Melinda. <laughs> She bought me a new owl. I used to be a frog collector because frog was my uh, sorority mascot. But now I've changed to owls. So this owl will sit by this. I got this owl from Mari. I'll hold it up. Whoops. That's the one thing you got to learn in the tech field. Everything's backwards when you film. I have no shirt on. Oh. I'm not looking. That's my Jimmy Rig camera system up there that I'm not using tonight. It's probably going to knock him out. 
I keep those up behind me. I get more shelves as I find them. I do find those a lot of times at Goodwill, guys. Goodwill is a great place to shop. You can find... Ah. Yeah, Al's Tech Talk is Cheryl. I'm Al. You can call me Al. They, uh, most of them have been. A lot of them have been. Some are confused. They don't understand. That comes from... Uh, I'm in a business group. And that comes from the business group. They so lovingly named me that. But anyway, I got to get off of here and figure out what I'm going to do with those other, these two candy canes. I might actually try to make another bow. I don't know. We're going to let Michael decide. I don't think he was impressed with my first bow. Like I said, I'm not real good at him. But I'm learning. And I have a Bodabra, an Easy Bow, and the Pro Bow the Hand. And the bow I made, that bow I made on the earlier candy cane was made on the Easy Bow. It was basically the second bow I've made on it. So, um, but we might just do a one ribbon bow as opposed, that was a three ribbon bow. So I might just slap, slap, throw together some easy, easier bows. Or I might use a cheater bow. I watched Laura do a cheater bow the other day. But anyway, I got to get off here. I got to get some food. Um, my create about one this afternoon and I, I'm feeling a little peckish I, I was doing some southern you know the quizzes you know, feeling a little peckish so I think I'm gonna go run and get a little snack we just snack in the evenings I'm gonna let Melinda know she's free to come back down and so are all the dogs and, and Ryder if he'd like I thought for a while she wasn't home and maybe Ryder was gonna help me but she came home and they all went away. He took Grandma's Elmo with me, so Grandma's got to get her Elmo on the speaker. And Michael and I are going to finish up these two candy canes, and I don't know if he's going to make any more. He's into making an aquarium, and I'll do a live sometime with my phone on that and show you the mess. Because here we are working on all this, and then all of a sudden he's working on putting an aquarium back in the house. So... Well, it's a small one, which is true, but we don't have much room, and it's supposed to be cracked. But that's just, I got to be nice to him. I got to let him have something, right, guys? Because he is, he is the bomb. I will, I will, I will try. I do not know what the signal will be. I'm not going to ever promise again I'm going to do live. I assumed at convention, if they were going to be doing a Facebook Live for the whole thing, they would have enough signal. That I could do a live. I couldn't even pull up. I, nothing. Not even on my. Uh, uh, phone data. I, I had very little signal. Even at the hotel. I had very little signal. I think I got a couple of lives out of the lobby. But even upstairs in the room. Because I had Mike set up watching some hockey games. And it would go. And then it would just stop. And him not being a tacky. He would yell at me. So I'm not going to promise, but if I have signal tomorrow, by golly, I'm going to take you to the show with me because I think those are the fun things. And then we have to go to Sean's house, change out his wreath, change out his flowers, and his nasty neighbor is wanting me to, or wanting him to cut back all of his, you know, trim up his yard and stuff. And he said, well, my mom does that and she's had a broken foot and she's been sick. And she goes, well, who bought the house? I'm like, lady, he contracted me to do that. That's my job. And uh, so, yeah. So, she's been all up the, their bottom ends trying to, so I need to go over there and take care of it. And if I see her, take my, my Glenda off, put on my Wicked Witch of the West, and set her straight. That's all I have to say about that. And I got to change my front because uh, we don't need red, white, and blue out front anymore. So I'm a little behind on things, but life is crazy. Anyway, if you need tech help, come check us out at Al's Tech Talk. $14.99 a month. Make a PayPal pal account. It'll be going really good by next week. So you're going to miss out if you don't see it. Go over if you want to learn designs and techniques. Go join LJ's designer's loft so Laura can show you what she knows she's the ultimate guys I'm telling you 
And also follow us on Creative Reason Flowers, Laura Jean's Reef Rooms on both Facebook and YouTube. And we will see you at the next live that I'm not going to tell you when because apparently I just schedule them whenever I want. Everybody have a great evening. Thanks for joining me. Glad I got to see you all again. It's been a while. We'll see you Monday night. I'm so planning on working on that sled. Have a great one.